Former Congolese rebel leader Jean-Pierre Bemba will not serve any more time behind bars. Earlier on Monday, the International Criminal Court handed down judgment in its final case against the DRC politician. He's been fined $350,000 and 12 months for witness tampering, but his sentence was reduced to zero due to time already served. The ICC overturned Bemba's war crimes conviction late last year after he had already served eight years behind bars. He recently returned home to the DRC hoping to re-enter politics. However, he was barred from running for the presidency in the upcoming December elections due to the witness tampering case. Well, for more on the court proceedings, let's now go to our correspondent, Jack Parrock, who is in Brussels for us. Um, Jack, let's explore the technicalities around Bemba's freedom. He was sentenced to 12 months in jail and a fine, but he'll only pay the fine. Why is that? Well, essentially, it's because when this witness tampering case started, uh, he was already in prison. Jean-Pierre Bembo has been, had been in prison in The Hague since 2008. And when he was convicted of witness tampering relating to what we call as the main case in the sort of jargon of the ICC, he was already in prison. So he's already served this one year jail sentence, essentially, which is why he'll only pay the $350,000 fine. Uh, this really is a pretty major thing. The prosecution was hoping that they were going to be able to get, uh, in fact, a, a real full extension so that he would have given, been given a full five year, the maximum sentence that you can get for witness tampering that would have seen him sent back to jail for an additional six months. But that didn't happen. The judges just gave him another year, which is swallowed up into the time he's already served in prison. So, Jack, does this verdict spell the end of Bemba's connection with the ICC? It certainly spells the end of proceedings and cases, but I think the International Criminal Court will always overshadow Jean-Pierre Bemba. There are many that still believe that he is guilty of the, the war crimes and crimes against humanity uh, conviction that was overturned just a few months ago, uh, which, and also it's really caused a major dispute within the International Criminal Court, and this case will have huge ramifications for how the ICC proceeds, the prosecutor's office for them, the, the acquittal in the main case was a real, real uh, a failure essentially as, as far as they will see it to bring, to uphold justice and the, when the appeals judges overturned his conviction it was seen as a massive blow to the ICC in fighting impunity. For Jean-Pierre Bemba he obviously says he's innocent and it was a, 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 a positive thing but uh, he, and also he wanted to go back and contest DRC elections but the Electoral Commission there decided that he couldn't. Well, as you say, during his trial, he did continue to maintain his innocence. Has Bemba expressed his plans for the future now that his case has been wrapped up? We, we know he'd initially wanted to run for the presidency. Indeed. So back at the beginning of August, he, sub he went back to the DRC and submitted himself as a candidate for the DRC elections that are upcoming in December. But he uh, was rejected by the Electoral Commission of the DRC, who said that because he has a conviction for witness tampering, he wouldn't be an eligible uh, candidate to become president of that country. He appealed that in DRC courts, but that was also shot down. And then he returned here to Belgium, uh, which is where he's been living for a large part of the period since he was released from the ICC detention center after his acquittal. Uh, and, and he was here waiting for this case. Now, we don't expect him to try and enter politics right away. We don't expect that he will make a leadership charge in the DRC for, for the presidency this time. And he has, in, the fact, in fact, said he would support some other opposition leaders. But we'll have to wait and see how this goes forward for him, whether he wants to return to Kinshasa and become a political figure or whether this uh, inability to enter the presidential race might, re might, might mean he gives up on politics altogether. We'll have to wait and see. I suppose this is a decision for him and his family. As I say, he'd been in detention for 10 years in The Hague under ICC detention with all these cases going on. OK, thank you very much for that update. That was Jack Parrock there in Brussels on the sentence from the ICC on Jean-Pierre Bemba.